banggood.com. They hooked it up again. We got two things to review here. They have the dual USB controller. I'm a big fan of these. I've done a video on them in the past. I wanted to see if I had another source on them. I was like, bang good, let me see yours. And uh, this is looking pretty good. So let's start there. Little anti-static bag, just undo there. And um, there you have it. You have A and B, you get a little switch here on the side. There's a little micro SD slot there and you can put two different micro SDs. It's usually spring loaded, two in one and you can just switch between the two micro SDs. So here, for example, I got a 32. The SD card faces up, click it in. You just click it, it pops out. Spring loaded, so you know when it's in there. No guessing. And you can put one on the other side as well. So now I have two SD cards in there, and I can just switch between the two with this switch. So that's piece number one from banggood.com. Thank you very much. The other thing they sent me is this Raspberry Pi 3 case plus Raspberry Pi, and it's one of the better deals out there. Um, you get the case, a fan, you get these nice copper heat sinks. You get three heat sinks on here. Unlike the other ones where you only get the two, this one you get three heat sinks. And the fan has this little guard on there too. How cool is that? I like these little details here. So let's see if I'm able to, um, to make this all work. So with the Pi, it's a traditional Raspberry Pi box. You get that cool, you get the instruction manuals here, and you get your cute little box. I love this little box. It's so cute. It's like we're actually gonna eat a pie here. I do not recommend you eat the pie though, at all. So inside, you have a Raspberry Pi 3. Nice. Single board computer. So we have that, we have our heat sinks. I'm not gonna put the heat sinks on for this video because I might end up using them somewhere else. But what you have is you have this one, this really thin, this is th this thin one's actually really nice. This is the first time I've seen it included in a kit. And I like the thin one because it allows it to still fit in a case. The problem with these heat sinks is they're too, they're too big. So when you put, when you put, it's, on, it's for the, um, the uh, RAM right here on the bottom. And when you put the, these big chips on there, it's too much space. It's too height, too much height. But putting this, it doesn't really add any height. Like these pins are still higher than that. So, um, cool little heat sink here. All right, so you got your heat sinks. If you're gonna put them on, this small one goes on the, that's for the modem there, the LAN. And then this one is the main processor. That's where the big one goes there. So those are the three go if you are gonna put those on. And then here's our case. So we got some screws here, and we have to make it. Uh, I'm gonna build my way up, that's usually the way to go. You can see that that's for the micro SD there, so that's gonna go something like this. So update on the fan, you do want the label to face up, if you want. Right now the fan is blowing inwards, if you have the label facing the pie. So there you go. If you want it, if you want the fan to push oxygen out, suck in and push it out, you actually want the top of the fan sticker facing the top. Now I don't know if they cho choose where that where that sticker goes. So if you want to be sure, just go ahead and plug in your your pie. Remember the red goes to the second to last on this closest farthest corner here. You should have one extra pin, and then red and then black. So go, just make sure you have the right pin in there. And then go ahead and test the fan. I want the air, to, the hot air to leave the pie, thus sucking the hot air out of it. Uh, don't forget that if you want, you can put on your heat sinks as well. You're gonna wanna go ahead and put this top piece on first. It's a very tight fit. I mean, it's just right. Um, you should still be able to get to your camera slot and the slot here as well. And then uh, now we're gonna go with the other side. Make sure your sides are on, and then I'm just gonna snap the front plate on. Okay, front plate is now on. So we got the front on. All right, and then for the back. Then as you see, that just fits right into there. So now you can switch between images really easily. You don't have to kind of fish your fingers in there or use tweezers. 
you could just go ahead and put those in there. All right, there we go. We have our complete, completed case. Not too shabby. It's not as clear as some other ones. It's a little milky, but it's kind of cool. I like the look. It's kind of like the clear uh, Game Boy. There you have it. Cool fan too. And I do like that these ports are all a little larger, especially the USB one to incorporate the bigger um, you know, the shroud that you're going to get on like a, on the power cord. So let's just go ahead and power this. I'm going to take out the image because I'm just going to power it up and just check out the fan here. So you get the little LED there. And it's a really quiet fan. You can't even hear that. I get, I get it right up to the mic. This is by far one of the quietest fans I've ever heard. Okay, the fan gets faster and faster. But overall, I'd say for the package, uh, for the price, you get a nice case, the Pi 3, it's a nice little deal. So if you're interested, link's in the description below, banggood.com. Don't forget your little two micro SD into one. Cool little addition as well. It's really a little cheap add on it. If you have a lot of images or have a lot of different things, or maybe you have like, you want to switch between like a Cody build and a gaming build. Hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys on the next one.